Right, so Mark Gurman has given us some pretty vague details regarding iOS 16, so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So yes, as per usual, German's giving us some pretty vague leaks, and this time it's regarding the iOS 16 update. So many of us have been yearning for a redesign to iOS, since the last major redesign was with iOS 7 back in 2013, and ever since, it's only been minor refinements. And while German kind of responds to that in this new leak, he says, While I don't expect Apple to give us a full redesign, there should be major changes, new ways of interacting, and some fresh Apple apps. Now that's a whole lot of nothing, because we can't be sure what exactly that means. For example, fresh apps could either mean perhaps for the iPad, or a calculator app for the iPad. And so yes, I do have a feeling that German's hyping the upgrades up, and in reality, iOS 16's gonna be a pretty minor update. I mean seriously, what does new ways of interacting exactly mean? That's just a whole lot of nonsense. And so yes, I'm really not sure what to expect with this iOS 16 and iPadOS 16 update. And by the way, the vagueness continues because German says watchOS should see a significant update, but does not explain why it's going to be such a major upgrade. He just says, yeah, it's going to be a big change. So yeah, I guess we can expect that. But coming back to iOS 16, the only change we've heard about recently is new focus mode features but that's pretty boring. I mean, focus mode is pretty great as is, and so I'm not sure what exactly they're gonna add. But yeah, ultimately, I'm praying that Apple does surprise us with some pretty major changes for iOS. And to be honest, we have heard about exciting details in the past, for example, new icons, a redesigned control center, and of course, with the iPads, floating window support. But the fact German's so vague about the upgrades does get me worried. This is going to be another year of minor upgrades. Anyways guys, tell me in the comments below what do you want to see Apple give us with the iOS 16 update. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the video above on details regarding the iPhone SE 4 and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.